How's it unfolding YouTube? It's Zero Victus. You can call me Oliver. And today I'm going to be teaching you a really cool After Effects tutorial. It'll be on a kind of hard to explain, but it's like an audio spectrum wave thing. I'm going to show you what the final effect should look like right here. Uh, that was it. Uh, mind you, the flares that I put in there, I'll save for another video, so I won't be covering that this video. So what you're going to do is go into After Effects. It's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to cut right here. Okay, so when you're in After Effects, you want to create a new composition. You're going to name that composition whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Sound Spectrum. Now for the second, this is, I think... This is hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, I believe. So you can leave it, or you can put it between 5 and 10 seconds. Uh, it really depends what you want to do. If it's going to be an intro, I suggest doing it 10, so you have some room to edit and some wiggle room, I'd like to call it. You can make it whatever color you want, but I just like, suggest doing black because that's just very neutral. And so when you get into your composition you want to make a new solid and this is going to be the audio spectrum solid so uh, well I misspelled audio uh, I'm just going to name it audio spectrum make it whatever color you want um, I'm just going to do blue because it's kind of easy and while we're at it I would import a music item song whatever you want to call it I'm gonna go with uh, what you know by two door cinema cinema club really good song check them out um, it's cool and so when you get into the audio spectrum go to effect and go to generate audio spectrum and this will be your spectrum so as you can see really close up you see these little dots those are the little lines that you see uh, on the audio spectrum. So uh, you can just do the color now. I'm just going to choose kind of a boring green, uh, or not really boring, it's kind of neon. And so, first, right off the bat, you want to do audio layer right up here and click your, your audio song, your, your song that you chose. And then I'll sync it up to the song, the highs and lows of the song. See how the little bars are moving up and down? and kind of waving awesomeness. So the second what you want to do is uh, just do the frequency bands. This just edits how many bands there are. You can do a hell of a lot of bands and then it'll just make it like a little solid thing. I like doing around like one like one basically one hundred. Looks clean. If you do too much, it doesn't really look like clean and solid. And maximum height I'm gonna bring that up to around 7,000. That way it looks active. You're going to scroll down and you're going to press from side A to B, you're going to do side B. This will allow the, the circle effect later. Softness, I'm going to go all the way down to zero. Thickness, I think I'm going to bring it to four. That looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Other than this, uh, if you want to have the blue in the background, whatever color you decided for the solid, just press composite on original and it'll be uh, the background. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to import uh, an, a f like an image file, or not an image file, sorry. I'm going to just do an image. Here, let me just do that. I'm going to do Call of Duty Ghosts. Really, I'm hyped up for that game. It should be pretty good. And as you can see, it's in the background. So now next, what you want to do is you go to Audio Spectrum, go to Effects, and you want to do a new effect, or actually just search it in your effects and presets over to the side, and you're going to press in, or put in polar coordinates. If you just put in polar, it should come out already. Drag that onto the, the screen, or you can just put it onto the layer. But I'm just going to do it there. And you have... Uh, more sections from right here you're going to put to rect to polar this is very important if you don't do if you don't uh, do that it'll come out all 
blurry and bad looking. Direct to polar and it, drag it all the way up and you'll create a circle. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope this tutorial was helpful in any way. And uh, yeah, please like the video. It helps a lot since uh, this is my first video. And uh, if you think it was so awesome, please subscribe and tell me what to do next. I want to, you know, help you guys out with editing problems and new tutorials, new stuff that you want to see. Maybe you want to see some of my creations that I've made myself. Um, just keep it new, keep it real. So I wanna, I wanna help you guys out. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.